your grace and mercy. Your grace and mercy. And thank you, Jesus, for your grace and mercy. You are listening to Brother Ossie York here on Chatting from the Word once again. We're so delighted to be with you on this afternoon, and we hope that you are ready for Brother Oscar York here on Chatting from the Word also. We are so delighted to bring you this program at this time, and we are so, so, so glad, so glad to be with you on this afternoon, hoping to put a snap in your Christian walk. Yes, you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, the Lord has blessed us all with another wonderful, wonderful day. A day that you and I had nothing to do with it. But because his love for us, he allowed us, we that are on this side of heaven, to be blessed with another day, with a, another chance, a second chance to make it right with him, another chance to walk closer and closer with him. And I believe we all need to take advantage of that because we never know. We never know when our number might be called. But the important thing is that we have our house in order when he do call us on home with this coronavirus and other illnesses that are going around. We may never know, but it's just a blessing just to uh, uh, just to be ready. And the Lord has given all of us that's on this side of heaven another chance to make it right with him. And we hope that you all are taking the opportunity that he's given you to make it right. You know, with so many of us worrying uh, under stress about the coronavirus, uh, better known as COVID-19, uh, and, and, and uh, we worry about our loved ones contracting it, and, and, and we see it on the news every day. We see uh, the president having briefs just about every day, and, you know, it, 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 it kind of worried a lot of us. That is why I am so glad, my friends, to bring you this program at this time to soothe your mind and allow you to hear some beautiful, some beautiful a cappella hits so that we can, so that you can relax your mind in Jesus Christ. And we hope that we are doing that today for you. We hope that we are. We here in Miamisburg, Ohio, we are doing great. Yes, we are. We, we, we have some beautiful, beautiful weather outside. The sun is shining. The clouds, a uh, few clouds and blue skies. Amen, amen. It's 52 degrees and sunny with 0% chance of rain. Praise the Lord. Praise Him, my friends. But you know what Brother Oscar always say. Regardless of what's going on on the outside, as long as you have the Son of God on the inside, you have seven days every day, 24-7, because you have the Son of God. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You have the Son of God, my friends. You have sunny days every day because we serve a merciful and loving God. Amen, amen. And amen. We have a beautiful show for you today. Now, y'all know what today is, right? What's that? You don't know? Well, I can understand if this is your first time listening to Brother Oscar. But you know, on Wednesday is music time once again. 
and we are going to play a few of your a cappella hits so that we can take you higher and higher and get your mind into the Lord today. Not on the coronavirus, not what's going on around you, but to help you keep your mind on Jesus Christ uh, this afternoon. Our first selection will be Johnny, the late Johnny Wilder Jr., last mile of the way. And falling behind that would be Curtis Williamson. Show me the way. And after prayer time, be praise with harmony by faith. And to get us on out of here, we be some size singers. So many people don't know him. So we have a good show for you on tap today. And we hope that you are all relaxing. So just relax. If you're at home, go get a cup of your favorite beverage, coffee, tea, milk, uh, uh, whatever it may be, and, and sit down in your reclining chair and just recline on out. Or just stretch out on your couch. Or just stretch out on the floor while you're listening to Brother Oscar York here on Chatting from the Word. Now, if you're driving, keep your eyes on the road. But keep on listening to Brother Oscar York here on chatting from the Excuse <coughs> me on chatting from the word. Now, if you're in the gym, try to exercise to to take care of your body. If you're getting lean and mean, as some people may say, or trying to lose weight, that's a good thing. But put your earbuds on while you're exercising so that you can, while you're exercising, listen to Brother Oscar York here on Chatting from the Word. Amen, amen, and amen. We will be right back after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We're back, we're back, and we're glad to be back. And as promised, our first selection would be the late Johnny Wilder Jr. Last mile of the way. Johnny Wilder Jr. The last mile of the way. And here we go. <laughs> I'm 
Trust in what man say. Don't trust in what the world say. But trust in the Lord because he knows what's best. All right, all right, all right. Let me remind our listeners that you are listening to Chatting from the Word. Where we are chatting about the Word from the Word with your host, Brother Oscar York, on the Serica platform where we are putting a snap in your Christian walk. <laughs> yes, we are, and we are glad, we are glad, we are glad to do it. Our next selection will be Curtis Williamson. Show me the way. Curtis Williamson, show me the way. And here we go with Show Me the Way by Curtis, song by Curtis Williamson. And here we go. Thank you. 
Sometimes, my friends, we, we need the Lord to show us the way. Because Proverbs says, There's a way which seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Sometimes when we follow our own thoughts and own ways, it can get us off track, my friends. So the best thing we can do is ask the Lord to show us the way. Uh, for example, you know, like the coronavirus, many are, are following the wrong way and infecting lots of people. The best thing we can do is adhere to what we need to do and follow the Lord and listen to what he has to say in his wonderful, wonderful words. All right, all right, all right. We will be right back after these messages. All right, all right, we're back, we're back, and we're glad to be back, and we hope that you feel the same. We are so delighted to bring you this program at this time, and we hope that you uh, feel the same. And if this happening happened to be your first time, uh, listening to the program, we are glad that you're here. We want to welcome you to the program, but don't stop listening to the program. Be a regular listener of the program. We are, but we are so delighted that you all are listening to us here on Chatting from the Word. This is our prayer time, and if you have any prayer requests, that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can email it to me. My email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Now, if you happen to be listening to us live, and we hope that many of you begin to listen to us live, you can go to the chat room and put your prayer request there. No one's there, and that's fine. But if you listen to us live, you can always go and put your prayer request in the chat room. Or, as we just said, if you have a prayer request, you can email it to me. My email address is for a case, OscarYork3443 at gmail.com. And you know, my friends, we need as many Christians praying at this time who can get a prayer up to God. For the condition of the world today, New York is having so many are uh, contracting the coronaviruses and many are dying. And uh, we, we just need Christians to join hands, to join together and pray for the condition of the world today. Because we need Jesus, my friends more and more than ever before. So we just want you to pray with me. We'll give you a to pray. But we want to pray for 
uh, those that have contracted the coronavirus and those that have lost loved ones to it. And of course, our government and the church. And we're going to pray for all listeners everywhere. But before we approach the throne of grace, we want to uh, read from 1 Corinthians 14, beginning with verse 13. Here Paul said, Wherefore, let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may be interpreted. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, that my, my spirit prayeth, but my understanding is untruthful. What is it then? I would pray with the spirit, and I would pray with the understanding also. I would sing with the spirit, and I would sing with the understanding also. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, our Father who sits high, and look slow. Father, we come to you in the humblest way we know how, with our minds and hearts lifted up to you, Father. First of all, in thanksgiving, Father, thanking you for this wonderful day. Thank you, Father, for all your blessings that you uh, have bestowed upon us today. Thanking you, Father, for your son Jesus who bled and died on Calvary Mountain so that we all may have salvation. Oh, Father, we come praying for the condition of this world today. Oh, Father, this world needs you so badly at, at this time, Father, with the coronavirus going around, Father. Father, we just want to pray for those that uh, have contracted the uh, virus. Father, we pray that you heal their bodies as it be your will and allow them to know, Father, that they can always cling to you, Father. And Father, we want to pray for those who lost loved ones through this disease, Father. We pray that, that, that you comfort their hearts and allow them to know that their loved ones are in Jesus Christ. Everything will be all right. Oh, Father, we want to pray for the government of this land. Oh, Father, we pray that they are that they handle this uh, that this uh, coronavirus, uh, this pandemic that we're going through the right way, Father, so that this nation may be healed, so that we can depend, so that we can depend on you, and they need to depend on you from which. I help from which I help comes. I help comes from you, Father. So allow them to depend on you for the answer to this pandemic at this time. Oh, Father, we pray for uh, the listeners at this time. Father, we pray for those who have contracted the uh, the, 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 the virus. Father, we pray that you heal their bodies. But Father, if they are Christian, allow them to know that they can cling much closer and closer to you and seek in your word for the answer. Father, we pray for each listener that's going through some storms and some uh, detrimental things and and some dangerous times. Father, we pray that you be with them, guide them, and help them to cling and cleave much closer and closer to you. Father, we come praying for the body of Christ, the church of Christ. Father, we pray that you will, will allow us to continue on teaching and preaching your word, your truth to a dying world. Let the world Help us to let the world know, Father, that you are alive and you need to be obeyed. Oh, Father, we come praying for our program here, chatting from the Word. Help us, Father, to keep it on the air. Help us, Father, to keep chatting about the Word from the Word. Father, help us to be the light in each community that we are heard in. Father, help us to, 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 to tell others about how beautiful you are. Oh, Father, we just we just thank you so much, Father. We thank you so much. We, Father, we just need you all over this place. 
In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen. And amen. I want to thank you for praying along uh, with us in that prayer. And we hope that we pray for something that was on your mind. All right, all right, all right. At this time, I'd like to talk with you, sure. Well, I'd love to talk with you by listening to the program. Um, we hope that you all listen to the program. We hope Brother Oscar's not spinning his wheels in vain, bringing this program to you Monday through Friday at 2 and on Saturday evening at 7. And we want you all, if you're listening, to share the show with your loved ones, with your neighbors, with those that... Uh, that your friends with on Facebook, on LinkedIn, and on all the entities that you come on, so that they may have a chance to be encouraged and to be uplifted in God's uh, word, in God's music, the best music on this side of heaven. So we hope that you'll listen to us here chatting from the word. And if you are the listeners, and if you are one of our listeners, like us on chatting from the word. And while you're liking us, follow us here. Follow us. We need followers. We need you to follow our program here. So when you follow the program, the network will let you know when we are broadcasting a program. And we hope that you are enjoying the program that we are broadcasting to you. And we hope that we are uplifting your day in Jesus Christ. Now, if you want to help us out here financially, you know I'm on PayPal. I do have an account on PayPal. Just go to the PayPal webpage and allow it to download. And once it comes up, go to, I believe it's under my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. And when the page comes up, just print it any amount you desire. And that would be fine. Now, if you have ordered to chat with your brother Oscar here, you can't call me because I don't know your number. Just send me an email. My email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or message me. When you message me, it will go to my email to let me know you have sent me a message. Or you can, we do have a page on Facebook, Chatting from the Word. Hosted by Oscar York. That's OscarYorkPublishing.com. And we hope that you have been to our page on Facebook and have uh, seen our show there. Now, or you can uh, leave a line or two on my webpage. My webpage is OscarYorkPublishing.com. But while you're on my webpage, I have a bookstore. I have purchased two books. My first book is A Peaceful Place in the Storms, God's in Control, which sells for $21.50, and Bridges of Friendships, which also sell for $21.50. And if you want to purchase both books, both books are $43. We hope that you do that. Do that. Do that after the program, after you listen to the program today. Visit OscarGuffPublishing.com and order you a book and read. Now, you know my motto. When you read, you get knowledge, and with knowledge comes power, power, power. Yes, it does. It comes power. <laughs> I love that. So, visit OscarYarkPublishing.com and order you a book. Now, the internet networks that we come on is Podchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Podcast Addicts, Erica, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, go to your Google Play or App Store and download the Erica Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, 
Look us up, chatting from the word, hosted by Oscar. And once you find us, put us in your favor so that when 2 o'clock come, Monday through Fridays, and Saturdays at 7, you can be ready to hear a wonderful, wonderful program. Now, the music that we uh, play here on Chatting from the Word, we do not own the copyrights to none of them. But what we want to suggest that you do is to support these fine artists that we are playing here. The key word is support, support, support. Let them know that how much you love them. Go buy the CD. Go hear them in concert. And allow them to know that you heard their music here on Chatting uh, from the Word. All right, all right, all right. We will be right back after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We're back. We're back, and we're glad to be back, and we hope that you feel the same. We hope that you are glad that we are back. <laughs> Our next election will be Praise and Harmony uh, by Faith. Uh, praise and Harmony uh, by, by Faith. And here we go with Praise and Harmony by Faith. And here we go.
to say our goodbyes and on Wednesdays. You know how we do it. We usually sign off and we play our last song. And our last song will be Southside Singers. So many people don't know him. Will you pray with me please? Our Father, we're joined in heaven. Lord, be that name for We thank you for this time that we had to spend with all, all of our listeners. We pray for each listener. We pray, Father, that they have a good evening and a good night and sleep tight. Father, we pray that they keep on being the light of the world and show the world you in them. Now, may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest through and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And as always, it was nice chatting with you today from Chatting from the Word. Now, Here's our last selection for today, which is Southside Singers. So many people don't know him, and that is so, so true. And here we go. I'm <laughs> 